approved ways to increase your farm equipment sales and your income. Presented by a veteran in field salesmanship, W.J. Bill Klein, Vice President and Director of Sales Promotion for the Tractor Group. Thank you, and hello fellow salesmen. I would like to talk with you today on a most important subject, sales promotion. The first step in the selling process, how you can get what every farm equipment dealer is always looking for, more good customers. We will all agree that you are selling the best farm equipment in the world, but to get more good customers, you have to let the farmers in your territory know what owning Alice Chalmers equipment can mean to them. After all, this business of selling is simply the business of getting customers to buy. Now let's take a close look and see how a farm equipment sale really starts. Here we have Mr. Customer. The mailman has just gone by. We know a good farmer like this needs the benefit of new Alice Chalmers equipment. The problem is how to get our story across to him and to all the others in your territory. We want Alice Chalmers to become a trusted member of the family like the hometown paper our customer is starting to read. That's why your farm equipment advertising belongs here, along with other events of local significance. Farming is a business, as well as a way of life. So the Alice Chalmers story needs to be told at this level, too. In the Farm Journal, for example, in this kind of advertising, our story of progress in power farming parallels the other farm news in the magazine. And here's another kind of publication which has a mighty high readership. Alice Chalmers' own direct mail. Part of its popularity stems from the simple fact that even in general farm magazines, editorial features on power equipment always rates high. Our direct mail pieces hit farmers hard where they have the most interest. But even when our customers are so busy, they don't have time to read. They are still exposed to the Alice Chalmers sales message. Here, the way we reach millions of farm people every Saturday. It's a beautiful day in Chicago. Friends at my own beautiful day farm, the most talked about feature of our D14 tractor is the revolutionary new power director. With that big stick, we do more farming than we ever thought possible. Constant speed, live power takeoff is a real advantage, too. Take it from me. See your Alice Chalmers dealer soon about a D14 or D17 tractor for your farmer ranch. Yes, that's the voice of Everett Mitchell, who for many years has served as MC for the National Farm and Home Hour a radio program which not only informs the farm audience of the latest developments in the field of agriculture, but tells them of the newest and latest in the Alice Chalmers line of farm machinery, the machinery you sell. Now let's see for ourselves how advertising pre-sells your customers on all Alice Chalmers sales features. A roadside sign like this is worth a lot as a reminder to a farmer with a power problem on his mind, even if he has known you and your dealership for many years. And when a farm family drives up to your dealership, that big diamond sign in front gives them a real impression of quality and progress. It sets you apart as one of the real business leaders in your community. And when you get that payoff demonstration arranged, a lot of other advertising efforts are working for you at the same time. Take this man, for example. He already knows what to expect from the power director because of advertising like this. All the demonstration has to do is to prove what he already expects to find in completely new power control. The same applies to the traction booster system. The customer already knows what to expect because he has been pre-sold through years of Alice Chalmers advertising like this. Both selling time and field time are saved 
when the prospect has been warmed up to the many Alice Chalmers advantages. Even the important little things don't get overlooked when advertising has called them to the prospect's attention in advance. And the same applies to more basic features, such as roll shift front axle, power shift rear wheels, snap coupler hitch, and traction booster system. Advertising has made him eager to see it and try it for himself. Yes, the pre-sold prospect is the money-making customer because he knows what he wants by reading and hearing Alice Chalmers' advertising. If you think this is theory, let me call in a few of the dealers who were high in their branches in a recent Harvest Holiday contest. As you will recall, their winnings were based on increases over the year before in a variety of activities. But the important thing to remember is that while they were racking up contest points, these men were also reaching a new high in genuine dollar sales. Supposing that we were to ask the McCullough Implement Company of Watsika, Illinois, how they did it. Our actual net sales figure through the Peoria branch was $45,951 during the five-month contest period, compared to only $17,197 for the same months the previous year. An essential part of our sales program is our newspaper advertising. We ran about 50 ads during the five-month period, most of them two-column, and many of them taken from the Alice Chalmers monthly service. Our newspaper advertising program sure helped put us over the top. For a quick look at what direct mail can do to boost sales, let's go to Spokane, Washington to see Mr. A.P. Brindy, the Alice Chalmers dealer there. We have a card file that gives us the make and model of each piece of farm machinery owned by every farmer in our trade area. We use a direct mail list of just over a thousand names at each of our two stores and at the Alice Chalmers program we also add bulletins which we make up locally. I feel that using direct mail is like using a rifle instead of a shotgun. And Mr. Brendy hasn't been missing very often with that rifle. During the five months contest period his net sales were almost $58,500 compared to $13,670 in the same period the year before. Now let's look at a new kind of local selling, kitchen and farmyard demonstrations. Not all of you have used these new methods of winter selling, so here's a little sample. Even if the temperature is zero outside, you can give the prospect and his family quite a demonstration right in the comforts of their own home. Did kitchen and farmyard demonstrations pay off in sales? Let's ask Patterson and Sons of St. John's, Michigan. They put on 50 kitchen demonstrations and 136 farmyard demonstrations and boosted their net sales 258% over the same period the previous year. From 17,700 up to 45,700. Here's their comments. I think the kitchen demonstrations are a very definite help for winter selling. And to carry on from there, we built a special demonstration truck with which we take the D14 and 63 plow out right on the farmyard demonstration program. We find that when we drive into the yard ready to demonstrate, the farmer is more than ready to listen to our sales story. For another dealer success story, let's go to a typical southern Minnesota town, near Strand, Minnesota, where the Isaacson Service Garage is located. During the Harvest Holiday Contest, this firm's net sales of Alice Chalmers machinery totaled more than $83,000 compared to $38,000 in the same period the year before. To make this kind of sales record, you have to use a lot of different kinds of advertising, and Isaacson did. In regard to this dealership, I could talk about dealers advertising, local radio, direct mail, calendars, local fair, and farmyard introductions. But since I have already mentioned most of these, 
I want Mr. Isaacson to say just a few words about the machinery he demonstrated during his last community day. During our community day, we demonstrated to about 350 people, showing them the D14, D17, 213 disc carrel, the number 64 plow, the spreader, four row cultivator and planter, and the 90 all crop harvester. Our community day ran from nine in the morning till nine in the evening, and the folks sure enjoyed themselves. Now for the final comment on dealer sales programs. Let's go way down south and visit Nelson Tractor Company at Bloomsboro, Louisiana. Jack Nelson is a hard man to catch because he does a lot of field selling. And if you want to be sure to catch him in, you have to be at his place of business at 6 o'clock in the morning or 8 in the evening. Also, he has one other full-time salesman working for him on the road. But the important thing is that they were not calling on cold customers to roll up $47,000 volume during the harvest holiday contest. One of the several ways he warmed them up was through a heavy use of radio spots. He says, during the five months period, we used some 288 commercials over our local station, KMAR. Mostly, we used the one-minute spots from Alice Chalmers' advertising kit. They went on the air in news programs at 5.55 every morning and again at 11.55 until noon. This is just one of the several different kinds of advertising we used to keep the full Alice Chalmers line before our customers. Jack Nelson is so right. It does take a good many different kinds of advertising to pre-sell your Alice Chalmers customers. The company itself covers your territory and every dealer's territory with a high-level bridge of advertising direct from the home office. But to get the full benefit from this advertising investment, you need to tie in at a local level, just like our contest winning dealers you've heard from. For every big ad in publications like this, you need local advertising that ties it to your dealership. Here's the Alice Chalmers part of this program. In the big regional farm papers, and the great variety of catalogs and literature. In the special class farm paper, over the NBC network with the National Farm and Home Hour, our 16 millimeter sound films for community day, and with big company-wide stories and publications like the Saturday Evening Post. Well, that's what Alice Chalmers is doing. Now, here's what you can use at the local level. Local newspaper advertising. And we furnish the maps. Generous use of direct mail, which the company also makes available. Timely mailing pieces selling your parts and service programs. Local radio announcements. Television, if it serves your purpose. Calendars, the daily reminder of advertising, signs for proper identification, goodwill builders such as these, kitchen demonstration films in eight millimeter size. How much does it cost to use all these proved ways to build your sales with Alice Chalmers? Much less than you think. Less than two pennies laid aside out of every sales dollar. Invested in local advertising has done the job for many dealers. It's the only way you can get the full benefit of Alice Chalmers company advertising and get the story across to your prospects. Together we can tell everyone about the many sales making features engineered into the great new line of Alice Chalmers equipment. All of the high volume Alice Chalmers dealers will tell you that a planned local advertising program doesn't cost, it pays. 
I'm sure that you want to increase your sales. You want to make more money. And you want to be counted among the high volume dealers. And all it takes is more customers. Let's really work together on a bigger and better advertising program. It will pay off if you follow through with demonstrations and then ask for the order. Men, it's been nice talking to you. I hope you have the biggest year that you have ever had in all history. Good luck. Mm -hmm.